It has been, and now this is the second year in a row with extreme drought, and it's a historic drought that we're undergoing right now. You can take a look, 85% of the state under the extreme drought, and of that, 33% under exceptional drought. Pretty much, you might as well color the entire state that dark red because we're really not going to get better as we move toward the summer months. It's only expected to get worse. Now, what we're looking at today is highs at 109 degrees in Sacramento. The record was 106, and now we have beat that by three degrees. The average this time of year is 89, so we are far from where we should be this time of year in middle of June. And we're talking 109 in June. These are temperatures you typically start seeing by the end of July into August. Now, we have seen these records not just broken in Sacramento, but Stockton tying their record. Modesto at 107, Redding very close to tying a record at 110. They got to 109 today, so it has been a very hot day. But take a look across most of the desert southwest, across seven states. We're looking at excessive heat, a heat advisory, red flag warnings, all in effect for this intense heat that we've been undergoing for the last few days. And for California, we've really seen it from all the way from Oregon down to Southern California, San Diego, Mexico border there. Excessive heat warning in effect till 9 p.m. on Saturday. And you are still looking at a heat advisory in effect for some portions right around the Bay Area. A portion has expired around Santa Rosa as of tonight. Otherwise, we do expect to see some of this heat continuing through tomorrow and even into Sunday. Although Sunday, we do not expect to see that excessive heat warning in effect, it will expire Saturday night, but we could still see those triple digits on Sunday. Now, the dangerous heat will continue even through the weekend with more potential record heat tomorrow and then significant cool down by Monday. If you even consider low 90s significant, but hey, that's a big improvement when we're talking about 109 today. Now, the high pressure system overhead has really been dominating much of the western U.S. And what's happening with this high pressure is just not budging. It's just building and building, and it's not letting anything disturb it in terms of bringing in even some winds, some cooler air, anything like that. You notice the jet stream still stays way up north. Now, we will expect a little bit of a budge to happen as we start moving from Sunday to Monday, but still drier conditions across most of the western U.S. as opposed to the eastern side there, where they're a little bit wetter than average this time of year. Now, we'll see temperatures right around 103 for Jackson tomorrow, 104 in Sonora, and take a look at Ione, 107, 89 Truckee, South Lake Tahoe. Now, we'll also be looking at temperatures dropping finally Tuesday to Wednesday in the upper 70s to mid 70s for the high Sierra, which is pretty nice this time of year. But we are also looking at temperatures if you need to cool down this weekend, Father's Day weekend. You may want to head toward the coastline there, 71 in San Francisco. We'll see 76 in Oakland, low 70s in Santa Rosa, the San Joaquin Valley, mid or I should say 105 to 107 is what I should say there. And we're looking at about 105 for Sacramento, 103 in Galt. Now our temperatures for the week, 101 tomorrow. Then we drop that 10 degrees with mid 80s by Tuesday. But wow, take a look at the following weekend there. We're right back up to 105 and 108 by that following weekend. Very hot there, Chris. Mm, indeed, those 80s sure do look nice. Carly, thank you.